Farmers have been forced to sell their land. Red meat producers are going to the slaughter early and farm workers face an uncertain future. The government and key stakeholders have set up a war room to assess how to deal with the effects of the drought, not only in South Africa, but also in other SADC countries. The, the crisis we're having in SADC, why do we do that? Because when we work out what is our, for instance, our maize needs and our, and our fodder needs, we, we've got to uh, account to those people. SADC has declared a regional disaster in order to launch an appeal for humanitarian aid and emergency support. So far, most of the financial assistance for local farmers have come from the provincial government. But like the land, funding is drying up. However, it is not all bad though, as citrus and stone fruit producers have survived the drought so far, largely unscathed. The drought, the flip side of the drought, um, we we learned how much with how little water we can come by and, and the flip side of the drought as well is uh, better eating quality of our fruit this season. Um, and if you specifically look towards the east, um, that has been our biggest export market for apples this year with almost 26% uh, of our apples um, going to that region so far. SADC's appeal for international assistance is a result of the El Nino weather patterns. The SADC bloc said the funding is a matter of urgency if it hopes to stave off further devastating effects on more than 40 million people across the southern African region.